All I want is to just be left alone, but this dude just won't do it! Get- Oh! Well, I'm teleporting now. Uh, welcome to Season 2 of Stone Valley, Air Farm Sub 22. Today, I got a little baby puppy. What up, dude? Get a little pet pet. Yeah, there you go. What up, dude? Good morning! Yo, uh, you guys want to buy some stuff? I think today's the perfect day to buy some stuff. We are going to get a new combine harvester. As you know, when we buy equipment, really, we don't replace things unless... Oh, uh, and he's following me around. All right. Good, good boy. Just sit. Just leave me alone. Leave, please. What's the, what, what's the button to get dude to leave me alone? Uh, B, go home. Get, get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves a combine harvester. First, I'll show you the one that I want, and then I'll show you the one that I think we can actually afford. So this is the one that I want. Probably no surprise. I really, really want this one. However, this costs $670,000. That's a lot. Well, maybe the seventy-two fifty, dollars right? Well, not so much. This costs $600,000. A little bit out of my price range. What doesn't cost an arm and a leg, however, is this. Now, I know this is a base game piece of equipment, but maybe, just maybe it'll work for exactly what we want. Michelin, twin wheels, I mean, come on, it's not that bad. Plus, one of the great things, um, it's literally half the price of everything else, and it's a whole lot better than the Cobite Harvester that we've got right now. It's still got 450 horsepower, I think, this is good. Oh, one thing I should probably do real quick. Yeah, we're going to reset that. There we go. Next up would be headers. Now, I do know and I understand that these honeybee headers are not out yet. I get it. I know it. I totally understand it. But I want one. Oh, I forgot to look at the sales real quick. Is there anything in here? Not really for what we want. So honeybees it is. Now, the base game combine harvester, it runs, I think it's like a seven meter... Or something like that, like this one right here. I think this would be the only header that's comparable to that. Now, we could probably bump that up a little bit. The, the auger's pretty big on it, so I'm thinking maybe we go 11 meters, something like that. Doesn't have any power requirements listed, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, I'm not going to really, like, overboard this thing with anything while I'm crazy. No wind system, no dual flow, uh, height control. Uh, that, I mean, it's an extra seven grand, so I'm not going to worry about that either. Plus, this is a pretty, pretty expensive header anyway. So I think, just the way it sits, we'll call it that. Now, we do, unfortunately, need the header trailer for this. So we'll go ahead and get that. And here's our rig. Nice. I'm looking at the header now, thinking that might be a little bit too big for this combine harvester. Oh, boy. And the header trailer doesn't hook up to this type of hitch either. Uh, I, need, I need a vehicle. This is the bad part about helping 82 Studio sometime. I don't actually know which, which one's which. Good news, I figured it out. So let's get ourselves a TLX 2020. I know you guys have been asking me to get one on this map, so let's do it. Well, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but we are here. So what I'm going for is the TLX 2020, and we've got some really cool stuff on here. So I went with the aged white, and we got the oh, aged black rims. That's about it. <laughs> I did also go with a uh, tipper bed for the back of it, and then we've got a trailer as well back there. But for now, I need to hook up to this. Thank goodness it works. It was actually a reasoning that I went with the tipper bed on here and the liquid bed. So now I'm going to be able to move around slurry and I'll be able to move around digestate and also be able to move around milk much, much quicker, much, much easier. And I went with the tipper bed on the back of this so that I can actually go and cart for like two things if I need to. So here's the big question. Is this gonna work? I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. This header seems way too big for this harvester, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that looks pretty massive. Not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and unfold the uh, combine harvester. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. We'll kind of pipe out. See if this goes all the way out. If it does, which it looks like it's going to with plenty of clearance. Yep. Uh. What do you mean I need to unfold it? Oh yeah, I forgot you have to unfold the header. What? Now I need to fold up the header. Grr. <laughs> All right, well it hits six miles an hour very easily and we're hitting different speeds just as easy. So we'll be able to kind of 
book it along a little bit, pick up some extra stuff. That makes me really happy. Now I gotta set this thing up. This is not always the, the easiest, if, if I'm honest, but that'll go by right there. But it is kind of cool the way that this works. If you guys haven't seen the videos on all the honeybee stuff, well, there's plenty of them out there. So you should be able to find exactly what you need. We can pull up over here. I should be in the right, correct spot for it, and I am. And then now all we gotta do is back this up and it should just connect. And it does. I was about that. Oh, that's so cool. Come on. You can't tell me that this doesn't look awesome. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. I made a mistake. Oh no. Whoop, whoop. We're good. Yo, I forgot that I got a big tipper as well. <laughs> and I've got a liquid tank, man. It's all right. So between me and you, it's been 11 months since I recorded the last video. 11 months. It's been one month since I recorded the last video. I totally forgot I had these things. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, we've got plenty. Ugh, we got plenty of that too. And now that the combine harvester's over here, we've only got one piece of equipment left. And uh, I think I may have blocked all my tractors in here, but that's all right. We'll put that right there. I don't need any more tractors right now. What I need, oh yeah, I really don't need any more tractors. I think we have, I see three. Do we only have three tractors? Oh, I guess we do. We put them all right here, didn't we? Um, what we need to do is I need to get a bigger planter. Uh, moving forward, things are going to get wild and crazy. And this little guy right here uh, is going to continue to be a little guy. We need to bump up those rookie numbers. I'm going to go over here. We're going to go ahead and get this sold, I think, right now. Uh, $110,000. Goodbye. You will be happy to hear that I'm going to stick with the same planter style, though. I'm not going to go like go wild and crazy and do something extra. Now nah, we're just going to stick with this. I'm thinking about going all the way. I know this is expensive. I know it's more than half of the money that we've got left. But if I buy this now, we're never going to have to need another planter or cedar the entire time we're doing this series. Unless we buy like, I don't know. Another one? What? Now it does make it cheaper if you start removing things, so I think I will kind of remove some of the stuff. I like the on row hopper look. I think it's very clean. It's very sleek. So I think that's what kind of what we're gonna go with here. I think this is the setup. I know it's very simple. I know it's not very wild and out and crazy, but I think it's perfect for what I want. Power needed low. Everything's good. Now let's just see if I can get out of here and get it. Uh, I might be able to do this. If this is a crash counter, feel free to call me out. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. I did just realize I need fuel though. So there is that. All right, hooked up. We are good, ready to go. Now I did say that once we got into year two, we would start to change up a few things. So I think now is a good time to make some of those changes. And that's gonna bring us to game settings. Oh boy. Uh, crop destruction, as you guys know, we've been playing with that on this whole time. Periodic plowing has been turned off. I'm still considering about turning that back on, but I think for right now, we may leave that uh, where it is. So lime required. Well, I think maybe we need to turn that on and uh, maybe periodic plowing, we cut that as well. Uh, it's just gonna be more time sitting around just running back and forth in the fields. Still not quite sure if I want to do that or not. I will tell you, weeds are going to stay off and field stones are going to stay off, at least for the moment, regardless. So for the time being, I've decided to stick with lime. We're going to leave lime turned on, so I will have to use lime anytime I do, well, anything. And you may remember from the last episode, we own this field now. So I'm going to drive straight through it and not have to worry about anything. We're also going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Do I want, maybe, uh, do I want to go and plow all this up and make all this part of the field and not have to worry about my worker being a complete numbskull? The answer to that question is absolutely yes, but I need to fill this up with seed first. So we're gonna come over here. Uh, I need to open up my cover. If I know, oh, did I mess that up? I think I messed it up. I got it. There we go. So all the little baby covers just go whoop, 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 whoop. Love that. Um, well, I thought maybe I would be able to fill, but I'm not actually sure if I can or not. Um, not getting the trick. Ah, here we go. Seeds. There we go. Perf Ooh, 6,700. Yikes. I was going to say, big question. Do I even have a plow? Dude, I don't even have one. We got to go buy one. Normally in this situation, I would just buy something case IH, but unfortunately, 
This is 80 grand. But this is 85. I'm, too, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. You think I'm crazy? We can't put green on here. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna get ourselves one of these. Uh, we're gonna go for nine. Got Case IH colors there. We're gonna go Onyx Black there. And then we're just gonna buy it. Now this version of the map is the version that has not been released yet. So I'm not quite sure if this is prepared or not for plowing. Uh, the previous version uh, was not, not in these little spots anyway. So I gotta figure out where are we gonna do this? Let's go jump in the air real quick. Ooh. So where would you plow through here? I'm thinking maybe we leave part of this little driveway area there, but I don't know if we need this little jetty all the way out there, but maybe we do. Maybe it fits perfectly. So let's just honor that little pachoomp thing right there and we'll go from there. Let's see, maybe put it down about right here. That'll do, we'll go ahead and turn on uh, stuff. Let's go ahead and save the game. Man, you never know what's gonna happen through here. Nice and easy, can we plow this up? 10, four, good buddy. Yes, sir, all right, there we go. And that's gonna be our uh, little, little cut right there. Now we just gotta plow all of this up and then we'll have a nice field to go with it. Yo, question is, can I do this entire thing in one swipe? And we are using the nine meter. I don't even have fast farming enabled. I'm just kind of going, but this is working. This is working good. Nice. All right, that was a little bit too easy. Now I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Is anybody around a corner? Okay, bot. Oh boy. On to the next one. I think I'm gonna try and like back into this one a little bit. Kind of like this. Try and line this up perfectly with the field. Oh, one more. Hey, we got it. There it is. Perfect. And now that part of the field is straightened on and we could just drive straight across through the, oh. That's, oh. <laughs> Lance, did you hide a little goodie down here that I almost ran right over? Yes, you did. Oh, that's an easy way to find that, ain't it? <laughs> we got another one down here, but that's about it, man. The, the, I think this is the last little spot like that that we've got to worry about. We'll go ahead and hit this one real quick. Hopefully this goes as smoothly as the last one did. Nice and easy, go slow one more little bit. There it is, again. Way too easy. I'm still convinced the K-Bots are on here hiding somewhere, just waiting to pop out and go, ha ha, surprise. You thought it was so easy, didn't you? It's never that easy. Sounds like something K-Bot would do. So you know something really cool? We were able to get a new combine harvester, a great header to go along with it. We were also able to get quite a few other things as well, even a new uh, plow and cedar. Actually, I think overall that was about it. Oh yeah, and the truck. Can't forget about the truck. It extra bits to pieces we already had look at me i don't even know where to put this plow i think i'm gonna put it down here uh regardless i think it's really cool that we were able to get all of that stuff it still have some money left over we got 288 grand left we got enough to buy more cows or maybe if we want to get into sheep but we don't own that farm so we have to you know, build our own sheep farm kind of thing which i'm considering doing over here but also with stone valley constantly going in and out of testing um I might just wait and see what the update br That didn't happen. See what the update brings us. So let's get planting. Hey, what are we gonna plant? I hadn't thought about this part yet. Um, maybe we do oats. Have we done oats? Yeah, we have done oats. Uh, we've got canola in right now here. Canola was in field three before. So, hmm. Yeah, while I think about it, look at this thing unfolding inside the cabin. Ooh. Oh, yes, sir. Um, so in here, these have been, or this planter has been modified. We've got corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton, as well as wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, cover crop, and grass, as well as lucerne and alfalfa. Now, wait, are those the same thing? Hey, you know what? Let's not even worry about it. So this is the point where we go, okay, do we use this as our foyer into, uh, any type of corn crop or something like that. Thing is, we don't even have a header for that. We just got a brand new grain head. So I think we leave it maybe as something simple. Uh, I do run, like running oats because that way we're at least able to get the straw off the ground. So um, direct drill, hire the worker. Let's see how it goes. 
And it's going. And it's going really well. This field ain't gonna take a lot of time, is it? There's also one other thing that we haven't talked about yet that I'm trying to figure out when is the best time. A grass field. I know, I know, DJ, you always do grass. Well, we got cows and they gotta eat. And currently I'm still paying for every bit of their food. And I don't wanna have to do that much anymore. So I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the easiest thing. What's gonna be the best thing for cat? What's gonna be the best thing is if I actually turn this thing on. There we go. Uh, so I need to figure out cattle feed. Any ideas? Yeah. I know this ain't a mod review, but look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is going to be so nice right through here. I know there's still little spots in the field that are kind of difficult to get to. But man, doing this little turn right here. Oh, look at this. And now it's officially part of the field. Ooh, yes, sir. Oh, I love that. And we're also almost done with our first headland, which is nice. I'm going to run one more because this is a big planter and it's going to take a little while to turn around down at the ends and stuff. So I think I will try and help it out as much as I can, or at least help the worker out as much as I can, even though I oh, despise helping the workers almost as much as I despise helping k -Bot. But you know what? It'll be beneficial overall. Uh-oh. We about to have a problem. We got a puppy dog in the middle of the field. Move, puppy dog! Dude! You're just chilling. Look, look at this. Look at this, dude. Oh, did he? Re oh, he turned around and mm, look at that. He just, <sighs> dude. Don't sit. Go home. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Man, he is the slow motionest runner I've ever seen. Come on. Go along. There you go, buddy. And now that everything is set and done, I'm going to hire a worker. And we're just going to let that worker do the thing. We have used a lot of seed. So I modified this to hold 10,000 liters of seed. And I'm not sure that was enough. We are doing well, though. Uh, that's only two passes. And this is a big field. So next thing I want to do is... Do we have money left? Yes. Can we buy any of the fields on here and turn them into grass fields? Probably not. Well, yeah, but I'm not sure I want to turn those small fields into grass fields. What would be nice is to turn field six into a grass field, but we're going to need about half a million books. What we can do is go through and then we can just plow up these little areas right here and plow up that area right there. Make it a nice squared off field and then make it grass. Did you really skip that little spot? Bruh. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Um, yeah. So we we're eventually we're gonna have to do something with uh, with all that. But I I don't I don't know. Eventually we need to do something. That's 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 really all I know. What I do know as well is we've got to take care of our cattle. Um, and I think we're gonna be able to do that right here. Ooh, hopefully that doesn't drag. Uh, I also don't know how this is gonna work feeding the cattle either. They really need some food. We go in here, man, TMR's down. Milk is okay, slurry's good, but those are the things they produce. Straw is something they intake. There are 222,000 liters of that right now. Not bad, not not bad at all, but we do need to buy some TMR. So we'll come up to 82 Studios, uh, multi-filling station. We're gonna find TMR in here. It's very, very cheap. It's almost too cheap, I think is maybe the best way to to word it, yeah, it might be a little bit too cheap. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, these, these hold, well, they hold they hold a lot. Yeah, like 2,500 bucks for 82,000 liters. And then this holds, I think it's 182,000 liters. Yeah, it's, a, it's not, a bad, not a bad price for TMR. And we're full. There's another 5,700 bucks right there. And uh, because they technically don't weigh anything, we're just driving around like it's nothing. I think the biggest thing right through here is going to be not fitting in here because I think we could do that just fine. It's actually gonna be tipping. I'm a little bit concerned about this trailer and hitting the top. I don't know if it will. It looks like it's going to. Oh boy, it keeps going. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Okay, we're good. Everybody's good. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Oh, that was dangerous. All right, so in comes the first 
Uh, what do I do? A little bit right here. So we've handled everything, but uh, we're not really lined up here. I think I'm just going to take it to the other end. Yeah, this was a lot easier to solve than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I'm a bit of an idiot sometimes. Don't, don't answer that. All right, let's give this a try one more time before we completely give up on how bad I am at doing things. Uh, first things first, we'll go ahead and do a little dumpy dump right here. And secondly, let's see what kind of trouble I can get into with this one. It is kind of nice to be able to do a double dump with this though. So if you're looking for some 82 Studio mods to be able to do a nice little double dump with. Oh yeah. Woo. Boom, baby. <laughs> That'll wake you up. All right, lastly, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. The chicken coop right here. It doesn't really hold enough chickens, so we can sell it. However, there's a couple things kind of in the way. We've got a couple trees in the way of doing other things, and plus, I really don't have a bunch of animal pens installed right now. By that, and by that, I mean I don't really have any except for bees. Man, I got you on bees if you need honey. But those are the only really mods I've got installed. So I think what I might do is between now and, uh, well, whenever we come back, I'm going to install some animal pens and we'll kind of see if we could put some stuff here. Maybe chop some of these trees down, figure that out. Yeah? You guys down with that? All right. Well, let's do that then.